In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Al plus CuCl2, aluminum plus copper 2 chloride. When I look at the equation here, I see I've got a metal all by itself in the reactants, and on the other side I have a different metal all by itself. That makes me think this is going to be a single replacement reaction. For single replacement reactions, the metal, the aluminum, is going to come in and it'll push the copper out. So the copper is going to be all by itself, and then the aluminum will be bonded to the chlorine. We get this aluminum chloride. Single replacement reaction. We can look at this general table of reactions here, and we can see here's our single replacement reaction. And this is the general pattern that those reactions follow. The metal places this metal here, pushes it out, so this copper all by itself, and then the aluminum, that's bonded to the chlorine, aluminum chloride. To tell if this reaction is actually going to happen, we can look at the activity series of the metals. So if we look at our activity series, the most reactive metals, those are at the top. These are the most reactive. So as we go up, they'll be more reactive. Here's aluminum, and then here's copper. So aluminum is higher on the list. It's going to be more reactive. That means it's going to be able to push the copper out and form a bond with the chlorine. The copper, which is less reactive, ends up by itself. Single displacement reaction. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Al plus CuCl2. Thanks for watching.